Looking now to continuing coverage tonight. Questions in court today over Rockford's man's innocence after a certificate of innocence was granted by a judge earlier this year. Patrick Persley spent decades in prison, convicted in the 1993 murder of Andy Asher, but he was found not guilty in a 2019 retrial and given a certificate of innocence last month by Judge Joe McGraw. The certificate of innocence clears the way for Persley to sue the state of Illinois. Days ago, the Winnebago County State's Attorney's Office filed a motion asking McGraw to rethink that certificate. It is important to note the motion is not trying to reverse Persley's acquittal from 2019. And lawyers on both sides today of the issue presented their argument to that judge. Our 13 News reporter Mary Sugden was in court and she joins us with why a decision was delayed today. Mary. James, this argument all boils down to one key piece of ballistics evidence, something called IBIS, which stands for the Integrated Ballistics Identification System. Now, right now in federal court, Persley's civil case is ongoing, and the state says it learned during testimony in that case that evidence from Persley's case was incorrectly entered into IBIS, but now after that evidence was correctly tested, it showed a potential correlation between Persley's gun and casings recovered from the scene. But Persley's attorneys say this is not new evidence, and they say the report does not change the results of a manual evaluation of ballistics evidence completed by two experts. Now, basically, while IBIS can provide a list of potential matches, it needs an expert to closely analyze it to confirm any type of match. Now, in Persley's case, experts did not find a match. So this is where the holdup comes. Attorneys on the side of the state say they'd like to question ballistics experts on this IBIS issue. However, they are currently involved in the federal case that is ongoing, and which means it could take longer for all of that to come together upwards of 120 days. So right now where this case stands is jo Judge McGraw asked that both parties come back on August 6th. That's basically when they'll just get an update on kind of how long they see this process taking, how much longer it will take to get some of that evaluation and questions to those ballistics experts. We'll continue to keep an eye on this case and update you as we learn more. Reporting live in Rockford, I'm Mary Sugden for 13 News.